Happy Saturday, everybody. Joe for Jaspi's Hobbyland, our last break of the week, our last break of the night. 2017 Fanatics Authentic Under Wraps Next Level Baseball's Great Late Night Rally. Big thanks to all of these folks for that great late night rally. Oh, we're always going to play the guessing game, Joe P. So one spot gets you t uh, four players. One, two, three, and four. A total of 80. Then there'll be the all the names right here, plus all the game use spots and all the uh, legendary level spots. And then we'll put you in this list. And at the end, we'll randomize the original 20 names for the March Madness spot. Don't let me forget that. That'll be a, the one at the end will be a different dice roll. For the names and players, six and a three, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. That for nine times, we've got Joe P all the way down to a bunch of Joe P's. He's got a lot of spots in this break, folks. Six and a three, nine times for the players. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, we've got Frank Robinson all the way down to Prince Fielder. All right, so I'm just going to show you the list as is for right now and then I will increase the, uh, and then I'll alphabetize by your first name so you don't have to memorize everything right now I just want to show everybody this so there's all your names right there obviously if you're watching the replay on YouTube you can pause whenever you want to uh, did William L get both of the the game use spot and he got the legendary level spot right here all right so there's everybody right there let's Sort by your first names. Go scroll back up. So Brent, there you go. There are your players. Cosmo, there are your players. Jimmy, Jimmy got a lot of players too. Actually, let's shrink this a little bit. Let's get all of Jimmy's names on one screen right there. There you go. Except for that Frank Robinson. That's Joe P. And Joe P has got a bunch of players right there too. There you go, Joe, those are your players. Tice, including your last spot mojo, your last spot mojo, Bo Jackson, Josh Donaldson, Carlos Gonzalez, uh, who I think Cargo just signed a one-year deal with the Rockies, and Andrew Miller, and William, there are your names right there. All right, any trades? I don't see any trades. Close up the trade window. Trading window closed. All right, good luck, everybody. So as you can see, these are marked 26, so you know they're from the same case. You know, who, you know who's really good at look, spotting autographs? I always say this in every break. Nick Jaspi, who's here right now. We'll let everyone guess for a little bit first. All right, debut level. This guy. Any guesses? Some of, some people might be able to figure this one out. Now, what's cool about these is not only is it authenticated by Fanatics, you also have MLB.com slash authentication. You go there and you punch in those numbers, EK706179, and you'll see exactly uh, where and when. So, well, usually when and who. Sometimes they'll give you the where, like if it was like a major event or something like that. Any guesses? Also, on the back of the name card that I'll show you in a second, you can win a trip to this year's All-Star Game. You have until the end of April. Now, whoever gets this, oh, actually, I know who gets this already. So for this person, do I know this person? Yeah, so if it doesn't work out for this person, if nobody in his family or friend group or coworker group, all right, no, no guesses? No guesses at all, Joe P? Uh, no guesses. Were you able to figure it out? No, I saw the sign. You saw the yeah. yeah. Ryan Howard, and that goes to Jimmy Brandt. 
Ryan Howard, who was pretty much on his way to a Hall of Fame career for like his first handful of seasons and then kind of tailed Did off. Did he get 500 after that. I don't think he got to 500. Man, he was like the fastest to 250. He was really fast to, yeah. Subway, yeah, I'm sure they paid him a lot. I'm sure he's doing fine. Yeah, I'm sure he's doing okay. But yeah, then he got paid big time and then it just, a couple injuries here and there and then it just, was just bad. He did, right? Yeah. With like Chase Utley and that whole crew. Yeah. 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 So that was when the Phillies and the Dodgers met in the NLCS two years in a row. And crazy Dodgers owner Frank McCourt didn't want to pay for pitching. So while you guys picked up like Doc Holliday and Cliff Lee and all that <laughs> to go along with like Cole Hamels and stuff, they're like, nah, we're okay with whoever we had there. This is a debut level ball. Guesses <laughs> on this. That's hard. <laughs> Come on. I mean, if, if you see the name and then you look at this, you're like, okay, right. that makes sense, but. What's up, Tice? I wouldn't guess this. I wouldn't guess it first. There's the Fanatic sticker, and then there's the MLB.com slash authentication sticker. This is the 10 buck breaks. We'll bring those back. Just You guys just have to stop selling things out so quickly. <laughs> We're buying shorter runs of stuff at a time, too, so that's also why. Darvish. Now, this guy is actually having a great spring. Of course, it's his contract year, so he's having a great spring. Should have a good season, too, by all indications. It's, uh, let me scroll up to see who this is for. It is for Joe P. Matt Harvey. Matt Harvey. So, Joe P., if you win, we can go. What is it, for three? No, it's for two. Oh. It's just me and Joe P. I, I pulled him this ball. I guess. Yeah. But you don't know about code. I'm sure he's gotten more of, the, more of those codes. Yeah, well, pop, it, pop it those codes, Joe P. What is it, the All-Star game? Yeah, DC. I don't want to go anyway. Should we, wanna break should we break there? They should have something there. I kind of some, some sort of All-Star game fan fest or something like that. I kind of want to just go. And just show up with yeah. a laptop and just start... Popping open. Or just not even break there. <laughs> just go? <laughs> yeah. Go. Just take a vacation. Yeah. It's hot. I guess we could break. Hot and humid there. I mean. It's not bad. I have a friend that goes to college there. Oh. Is there like a frat house? Yeah. I'm down. Then just go. Go to the Homer Derby. Down with that. All right. Another debut level baseball. Another pitcher. Just to just as a little extra clue, another pitcher. Any guesses on this? This might be well, might be a little bit easier. It looks like he ran his hand across it too. Is he a lefty? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he is. That's what happens with lefties. You get a, you get a little smudge right there. Be careful, this guy. You should have a good year, too. I think so, too, actually. Joe P's got it. It's David Price, and that goes to Brent. There you go, Brent. Seriously, do the code on the back. They couldn't, they couldn't have made too many of these baseballs. You know what I mean? Your odds are probably pretty decent. It's not like they, built, they made a million of these baseballs. Your odds are pretty good, folks. So seriously, if you win one of these baseballs in our breaks, might as well give the code a try. All right, so there you have it. Thanks very much, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Oh, we got a March Madness spot to give away. See, I almost forgot. All right, let's give away a March Madness spot too. Let's roll the dice. Seven times, two and a five. Lucky seven, name on top gets the March Madness spot. Good luck. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, Brent. There you go. Brent, you get a March Madness spot. We're running out of spots, folks, so join a break that says March Madness in the title and go for it. Jaspieshobbyland.com. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time.